Hello and welcome to the short walkthrough of More Disk Space. This is a utility from Contact Plus Corporation designed to help you locate duplicate files, large files, large folders, just a, a way to clean up, help you clean up your hard drive. Now, uh, before you run More Disk Space and actually start collecting uh, duplicates, uh, the Build Safe Harbor function will come up. And what that is, is it, it searches your hard drive registry and it looks for uh, references to folders of programs that you're currently using. So what it's going to do is anytime you try to delete a folder that's within one of these main uh, folders here or any file within one of those folders it'll warn you. Now of course you can override but the idea is that you don't want to accidentally de delete too much. That's always the risk uh, when uh, you're deleting files. You kind of have to know what you're looking at okay so we can do a duplicate file check I'll click on that right now so what we can do here is uh, determine the size of files that we're interested in the the drive or list of folders I can click on add here to add some more folders here and uh, once we've selected that you could have multiple drives it will scan for duplicates across multiple drives the registered version I'll just click on start now before I do that I want to take a look at a strategy. So if I go for say file name and size, if 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 two files have the same name and size, they they still may not be identical. So we also take a look at the CRC value and what that means it's going to look in the contents. The first 10 million bytes are examined and if they're the same, you'll get the same CRC value. And that should give you a very good indicator of whether or not two files are actually identical. So we just click on start just to give you an idea what's happening here. We'll have a couple questions come up and uh, I'm not going to let it go through the entire hard drive. And I think that's enough. And so it found 28, 24 pairs of duplicates. As you can see they're just one after another. Now what I can do is I can click on the pairs button and I can see here uh, one file on the left, one file on the right. If I want to look at one of them, I'll just click on View. Now there's a bunch of gobbledygook, but I can click on Peek at Strings. This is if I'm just curious. And it looks here that this was created by Sun Microsystems, uh, one of the files that they have. So if I don't really know whether or not this uh, uh, file can be deleted or not, you may want to leave it alone. But if you do know, uh, you can just click on Mark and you'll see a little checkbox appear here. Now when the checkbox is here, when you've marked certain uh, files, we can then go ahead and click on the clean button which will clean up. We can go ahead and delete these files if it's not in our safe harbor and uh, if, uh, if we, we also can sanitize these ones if we want. So we'll just click on delete and sanitize or recycle bin. I'm not going to do either at this point this is just for illustration. So duplicate files is uh, available. We also have this thing called file hogs. So file hogs gives us the ability to to locate all those files that are really large and those are the ones that are probably taking up the most space. You at least want to identify them. You may not want to delete every single large file. Just because a file is large doesn't mean it should be deleted. But you'll get the most free disk space from locating the largest files. So we can do that from here. We have files access. This is going to give you the date and time that files are accessed, a range of dates, access created or, or modified. And you can uh, play with that as you want. And the folder hogs is really interesting because it'll actually look at all the folders underneath your hard drive, the main folders or all folders. Give you an idea which folder is taking up the most space. And then of course you can delete the folders as you wish. And the last thing here is quick clean and clear internet files. These two things will quickly uh, just clear up either your internet uh, cache folders or your uh, temporary files that might have been set up. These are extensions that you're using. And the last thing I'll show you here is some interesting statistics. If we click on the statistics button, we'll see our drives here on the left and you can get a nice little pie chart or our bar charts giving you free space and use space in gigabytes. Now uh, I can go ahead and collect statistics it'll allow me to collect statistics on multiple drives 
we'll just uh, let it go for uh, a few seconds here on the C drive and it actually goes quite quick so in this short period of time it's uh, actually uh, processed 18 18,000 files you can see here in the lower left so I can I can take a look at some of my uh, uh, charts uh, file sizes uh, attributes hidden files the time uh, things were created during the day and I can I can kind of play with uh, my charts just for fun well that's about it so I encourage you to come to contactplus.com there it is right on the screen and uh, check out more disk space and check out some of our other, pro other products so we do have uh, quite a few productivity products uh, that are available and of course this does run on all versions of Windows thanks for listening